Um, and there are now studies um, in an aging study done in Boston where they've uh, also identified cognitive decline um, uh, as correlating with uh, vitamin D deficiency. Um, and so cognition uh, uh, may be important, uh, um, uh, or vitamin D may be important in uh, not only capturing memories, but holding on to, uh, mm -hmm. on to them uh, later, mm -hmm. later in life. Um, what about malignancy? Okay. Um, uh, there, there was a wonderful study done um, at Creighton University um, uh, uh, by um, Dr. Uh, Lapey. Uh, and uh, that study's initial design was to look at the ability of vitamin D to prevent fractures, broken bones, in postmenopausal women. Um, and what they found as their secondary outcome was that it actually reduced the likelihood of any reported cancer over four years of follow-up by some 70%. 76 percent. Wow. So, and that was a prospective study. Now, it wasn't a very large study, and some of the skeptics out there said, well, this isn't a large enough study. You need tens of thousands of women, and this was only, you know, several thousand women, so I don't, we don't even know if mm -hmm. it means anything. But when you correlate that with data from uh, um, uh, uh, Cedric Garland and, and uh, Dr. Grant um, and uh, the Harvard, uh, uh, Harvard studies, uh, the health profession study, the nurses' health study, um, all of these databases are pointing in the same direction, meaning the more sun exposure you get or the more vitamin D you get or the higher your vitamin D level, the lower your risk of just about every cancer that you compare that to, okay? Mm -hmm. The ones that seem to be most important are colon cancer. That's at the top of the list. That one is clearly related to vitamin D deficiency. Low levels okay. raising your risk for colon cancer. Normal levels perhaps having your risk, cutting it in half. Um, uh, less so prostate and breast cancer are associated with vitamin D deficiency. And then you can look at lymphoma and leukemia and a whole host of other uh, cancers. And so there seems to be a relationship between your risk for cancers of many types and uh, vitamin D deficiency, risk going up as D levels go down.